Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on solving equations. So there's going to be a couple of videos on this topic. We're just going to deal with the basics in this video. Uh, and the first type of equation we'll look at is where we have only one unknown uh, in, in a linear equation. So a linear equation just means we only have one power of the uh, unknown term. So that's x to the 1 in this case rather than uh, x squared or x cubed or so on. So here we have 6x minus 4 is equal to 26. Now in order to solve this equation uh, what we have to understand is that any operation you do to one side of the equation you must also do to the other side of the equation. So uh, the way we're going to solve this is we're first of all going to add 4 to both sides of the equal sign. So we're going to be left with 6x on its own on this side because when we add 4 the minus 4 is going to cancel uh, and then we're going to have to add that 4 to the other side so we get 26 plus 4 here. Now we can simplify this to 6x equals 30 and now once again uh, what we have to do on one side we have to do on the other side of the equation so to get x on its own here we have to divide by 6 so that means we have to divide by 6 on the other side as well so we've got x is equal to 30 divided by 6 therefore x equals 5 so let's just run through what we did there again so we added 4 in this first step here to both sides uh, and then we simplified and then we divided by 6 uh, in this next step here to get x on its own uh, to reveal that x is 5 so these are the most simple types of equations that you'll see now let's move on to look at a more complicated example this time uh, where we have an unknown appearing more than once so here we have 12x plus 8 is equal to 5x plus 36. So let's rewrite this here. 12x plus 8 is equal to 5x plus 36. So uh, what we're going to have to do here is get all the x's on one side and all the individual numbers on the other side first of all. So uh, what we can do in the first step is we can minus 5x from both sides. So we're going to be left with 12x minus 5x plus 8 here and then 5x minus 5x plus 36. So I've done quite a lot of working on this one line here, but it's just to show what's going on. Uh, so 12x minus 5x is 7x. So we've got 7x plus 8 here. 5x minus 5x is 0. And then we've got 36 here. So we've got 7x plus 8 is equal to 36. And now we need to remove this 8 to get the x on its own on this side. So to do that, we minus 8. So we get 7x is equal to 36 minus 8. So 7x is equal to 28. Now all we have to do is divide by 7 uh, to get x on its own. So x is equal to 28. Whoops, 28 divided by 7, and that's equal to 4. So our answer is that x is equal to 4. Solving equations is one of the most fundamental topics, so it's important that you get loads of practice in before your exam. You can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked. So you get feedback straight away, allowing you to keep track of where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exams. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below. It will take you straight there.